Quality Adjusted Life Year. Quali, in Health Economic Evaluations. Professor Mondra Toomey invites you to a lecture. The term quali is commonly used in health economic evaluations, but I don't really understand what it means. Can you please explain? Sure. Let's start with what it means. Quali stands for Quality Adjusted Life Year. It combines two different elements, one length of life and two quality of life, into a single number. Useful, isn't it? So, if I understand correctly, a quality is a generic measure of disease burden, including both the quality and the quantity of life lived, right? Yes, exactly. And it is frequently used in economic evaluations to assess the value or to quantify the effect of a medical intervention or a prevention program, as it can inform the balance between treatment benefits and adverse events. There's more. Qualies can be compared across different types of treatments, different diseases, even different therapeutical areas. Wow! So this means that qualies can be used to compare interventions whose effects are qualitatively different? Yes, it is extremely helpful for payers to allocate healthcare resources or to set priorities for future programs. Now, let's continue with how we calculate qualies. Calculating a quality requires two inputs. The first input is what we call the utility values, or the utility weights that are associated with all the health states you are interested in. The valuations fall between 0 and 1, with 1 representing the valuation of a state of perfect health and 0 representing the valuation of death. Okay, I see. Maybe I should add that in some circumstances, a negative utility value is also possible, which indicates that a very poor health state is valued as less preferable than death. The second input is the duration that people live in various states of health. This information may come from clinical trials, or from a model, extrapolating a clinical trial, for example. Okay, two parameters, one the utility, for the quality of life, and two the duration, for the quantity of life. This makes sense. And now, all you need is a simple formula. Qualis is equal quantity times quality. Or in other words, qualis is equal to duration times utility. Okay, this seems easy. Can we try on some examples? Sure. Example 1. If a person lives in perfect health for 10 years, that person accumulates 10 qualis, 10 years of life, times a utility value of 1, equals 10 qualis. Second example, if a person lives in perfect health only 5 years, that person accumulates 5 qualies. 5 years of life, times 1 utility value, equals 5 qualies. And this would be the same for a person who lives in a health state with 0.5 utility, but for 10 years, right? Yes, that person would also have 5 qualies, 5 years of life, times a utility value of 0.5, equals 5 qualies. In reality, patients experience different health states over time, so we usually consider patient profiles with sequences of utility values reported over periods of time. For example, this patient has had no symptoms for two years, then some symptoms appeared. He experienced a severe episode. He was well treated and could live three additional before a last and difficult year. Overall, this patient accumulated 4.85 qualies in 7.5 years of life. Now that you know how to calculate qualies, we can speak about how it is used in economic evaluations. You mean in cost-effectiveness studies, for example? Yes. In cost-effectiveness studies, we use qualies to quantify the effectiveness of a new intervention versus comparators, such as standard of care, for instance. That's what we call the qualies gained. Let's go back to our previous patient and imagine he received a new treatment for this condition before his first symptoms. His profile would follow the higher path, much more favorable, longer time without symptoms, less severe symptoms, no acute episode, etc. The quality of life or the utility value remains at a higher level for longer, in addition to living for longer. Hence, the total area between the two paths indicates the number of qualies gained by the treatment.
In our case, the orange area in color represents the qualis gained, meaning that with the new intervention, this patient would have had accumulated 4.85 plus 2.35 equals 7.2 qualis in 10 years. I see. And so how do we use it in cost-effectiveness studies? Well, you may know that the key outcome of a cost-effectiveness analysis is the ICER, or the incremental cost-effectiveness ratio, calculated by dividing the difference in total costs, incremental cost, by the difference in the chosen measure of health outcome or effect, incremental effect. Yes, I remember, this ICER is a ratio of extra cost per extra unit of health effect for the more expensive therapy versus the alternative. Well, when the chosen measure of health outcome is the quali, your denominator is simply the qualis gained with the new intervention. And this generates a cost per quali gained. This ICER can then be used to allocate healthcare resources. I guess you know that most agencies which use economic evaluation use mainly the quali as measure of health outcome, for example NICE. Do I know everything on qualis now? Aha, you know the most important, for sure. But let me finish by mentioning that controversies surrounding qualis exists. There are ethical considerations. By being more prescriptive in what healthcare options are available, the quali system reduces freedom of choice and ultimately, autonomous patient decisions. Or raise the issue of difference of value of a year of life for people with disabilities. There are also methodological issues and theoretical assumptions. Qualis assume that the value attached to a sequence of health states is independent of the chronological order of the health states. Look at these graphs. Should they really be equal in terms of qualis? Utility values vary a lot according to the method used to assess them. If you don't know which method to choose, check out the video on utilities values. Sure, I will check it. Can we conclude as, this model is not perfect, there are simplifications and assumptions, but it's nevertheless quite useful. Perfect conclusion. Can you give me that note? Of course you can download this note in PDF. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share this knowledge with others.